cheer people. Okay, I sent out the agenda and I'm just gonna go down the list of people. Um, I'm gonna start with, um, with John. Yeah, okay. So let me load something up. Okay. Well, I better share it first. <laughs> that would help, wouldn't it? Yeah. And Stuart is running the meeting. Okay. Um, Thank you, Stuart. Stuart, I think you're acting as the host tonight. I am indeed, yep. But turn on sharing, please. Okay. Hi, everybody. While you're doing that, I need to leave it at night now. Because, now. because I have a meeting uh, with Singapore, so I have to leave at nine. I will okay. just leave if the meeting hasn't ended by then. Yeah, I have a 915 stock myself. So I have to get my laundry out of the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Hello, everybody. Hello. Alex. Alex is now here, Nancy. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Yep. Yes. Yep. Basically, um, this is the balance sheet as of the end of the month. We still have twenty five thousand in uh, plus in assets available to the club to utilize as we see fit. Um, during July, there was very little activity, with the exception of um, we got a, some additional um, commissions from BNH, so they were distributed to people who um, had provided uh, information on their orders. Uh, we got um, return of the refund, of the return of the security deposit for the picnic. And other than that, there really wasn't much going on. So it really didn't require a major financial uh, report for this month. However, what, uh, first of all, does anybody have any questions on these? No. Okay. The, um, the one point I wanted to make is that by the end of the month, we have to come up with a, or we will come up with an operating budget and some more detail. Uh, just wanted to mention to each of you, if you have any uh, expenses or any expected revenue from your areas, if you let me know so I can include that, otherwise you'll be stuck with my estimates. Uh, but it'll be distributed before the end of the month so that you, it can be voted on uh, at the September meeting and should include most of what the anticipated expenditures are, unless it's something out of the ordinary. So you need everybody to um, send you their projected expenses so that we can budget for them. Yeah, if, if they would. And if All you right. choose not to, that's fine. What I will do is base it upon past experience and what I anticipate or what I think might be anticipated. Okay, I'll, I'll send out a, a reminder email. And then we emailed each other. Um, the other thing that we should do is to change the signatory on the accounts, right? We all agree with that because you said- that Yeah, the current, they're, they're, all of the bank accounts require only one signature. However, we have a backup signatory also. But that signatory was Bill Olson. He's really not that active right at this point in time. So it's probably time to change it. So um, whoever is going to be appointed as the backup uh, signatory, let me know because I have to draft or because they're business accounts, they're, uh, we're gonna need a board resolution. So I'll draft that and we'll get it signed and then we'll work out where and when we go to the bank to go through their usual digital signatures. So will this that is, will that person need to go to the bank with you or can it be done without having to go to the bank? Uh, usually you have to go to the bank today. Okay. All right. We'll, uh, we'll work. I think that's a good idea. Everybody agrees that that's a good idea? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Uh, yep. Okay. All you have to do is to let me know who that person's going to be because we want to make sure. Usually, with forestalling some of the paper requirements at the bank, I usually draft a board resolution that lists the individual and states that the EC, you know, and in its infinite wisdom, yada, yada, 
um, you know, what's the, uh, the this individual will be a, a co-signer individual or an additional signatory. So if you let me know what the name is, I'll get that, and then I'll get it to you, Laura, for signing. Okay, sounds sounds good. Anything else, John? No, not much, much else, unless people, unless someone has a suggestion or wants to see some changes or whatever. Um, kind of well, the, the actually, actually, I do have a question for you. Has anyone ever approached you about being a co-chair? With with you? No. Okay. Is is anyone interested in being a co-chair with uh, John? Because I think that's probably an important role at this point, right? I think that if you want to appoint a quote co-chair, really, because I did say that this would be my last year as a treasurer, right. mm -hmm. um, and really the person that might want to go into that position, whatever you want to call it, would be the successor trustee. I mean, excuse me, successor treasurer. Right. right. So whoever wants to be treasurer next year could be the person that uh, bring them in, let them see how things are set up. Um, there's no, um, there's no set piece in how you maintain your records. They're the records that I've maintained are, um, pretty comprehensive for the last however, however many years I've been doing it, 14 years. You've been doing, um, you've been um, doing it a long, long time. So um, it, It's not 14, maybe eh, 11 years for sure, but um, it, they can continue that way. But all the information that's there and all the ledgers and everything are transferable uh, as text, uh, Excel, whatever. So whatever they choose to run the position with what with the way they feel comfortable, they'll be able to make the transition. Okay, but I think it's now a good time to keep our uh, ears open for anyone, um, you know, who 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 would step into that spot. So, I think we we can't function without someone doing what you do. So, I think you should be doing some active recruiting. Yeah, I was going to suggest that at the social. It might be good to introduce the EC and also highlight areas that we're looking for support. Okay. Yeah, you got to remember that um, because of the way the club is structured and the fact it doesn't have a permanent address and things such as that, that I personally am listed as, you know, the rep, agent, whatever it may be for everything from New Jersey business reports. <laughs> all the way through tax filings and things such as that. So that will all have to be transferred. And, you know, as long as the person who's moving in doesn't have an issue with that, because you end up getting contacted, you end up getting uh, a lot of the uh, correspondence, et cetera, to whatever, in this particular case, it's my home address. Um, so when we do the recruiting, I'd, I'd make that known to the individual. Okay. All right, that that that's on our uh, to do list. Thank you, John. Uh, Nancy, do you have anything to report? No. <laughs> okay. Um, Vinny, do you have anything to report? Real quick, okay. I've been working on some minor tune-ups with Val and with John P on the uh, payment of dues processing. You know, so but minor stuff. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so so Vinny, I have the same question for you that I had, um, uh, that I posed to John. Do you have any backup or anyone interested in being a co-chair in the in the webmaster realm here? I don't have anybody. But what I would suggest, if anybody's thinking about doing that, to take a look at the duties book for the webmaster. To determine, you know, what the what kind of uh, what kind of work they're going to be doing and what kind of knowledge they need. So over the years, no one has taken an interest in in learning what you do, or no. Okay. All right. I will present that also. Uh, 
Anything else? If everybody could mute who's not speaking, that would probably yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So we'll we'll keep our eyes out for that and ears open for that too, Vinny. If you, if you have any ideas about that, just just shoot me uh, an email. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, Dilek, you. I'm I'm skipping over to you so that you can report on uh, field trips. Yeah. So this season, this coming season, um, we were planning to start with an overnight trip to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, in October. Uh, however, we had to cancel that trip uh, because. Uh, people canceling after uh, we committed to a certain number of rooms to the hotel. Um, and then when we went beyond, uh, below a certain number, we lost the discount and then people lost interest after that. And then um, we had to cancel that one. So maybe we will try that next year or somewhere else we will see. But um, so the first field trip is canceled, um, Gettysburg. Then after that, um, the next one will be in December, Park Avenue Armory, with a dance performance. Um, I haven't posted the details on that yet. There's still time. Um, but that will be the first one then uh, of the season. Okay, great. Now, with the Gettysburg, were they canceling because it was overnight or uh, other reasons? They no, they had signed up because it was overnight. So uh -huh. it wasn't the reason. It was a combination of things. Um, some people thought it was um getting too expensive. Some people thought um it was right after the Turkey trip that we are taking, coming back end of uh, September. Um, some people just had um family things came up, and so overall the number really dwindled. So we canceled. Yeah. How's the turkey trip uh, coming along? I think we're all set. Yeah. That's great. How many people do you have going? Uh, 13. Wow. That's 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 great. I yeah. hope you all you have a wonderful and, and safe time over there. Thank that's, you. Thank you. Any anything else? That's it? Yep. Okay. Uh Nancy Vin. Is Joe here? Joe Generelli? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm here. Do you have anything to report or? Well, all the competitions are, are currently um, posted. I haven't checked them recently, so I don't know if anybody, anyone has uh, started uploading their, their pictures, but the contests are all on Photo Contest Pro. I saw that. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now the first uh, pictorial competition, I think I included included you on the emails that uh, Stuart and I will not be there for the competition. Right. Right. So you guys will you'll be fine uh, with with without us. So I just wanted to remind you that we won't be there. Right. What okay. date is that competition? Uh, the twenty fourth, maybe twenty twenty seventh. Okay. And just a, a question, uh, who is going to be running the equipment that day then? I'm assuming um, Mirith will be running it I, or the or the computer. Well, what, what so, I, mean, <clears throat> I mean, somebody's got to, you know, uh, set up the uh, PCP. Uh, and also, uh, the so I, I'm, I'm guessing that'll be Joe who who will be setting up the PCP, right? Uh, yeah, I'll be. Setting I will. Up I will help with Merrick. Right. Yeah. Can I? Can I? Just, normally, what would happen is the equipment set up would be Merrick and whoever's going to help Merrick set it up. Joe will have PCP set up and he'll run the normal PCP as any other contest. Right. Oh, okay. Alex. Okay. Yeah, Alex, you're going to have to do all the introductions because it's your competition. Well, the introduction is not a problem. 
uh, you know, I just didn't know who was going to operate, you know, the PCP. Uh, oh, it'll be Joe. It should yeah. be Joe. Oh, okay, good. That's great. But we don't more, no more doing the hybrid, no? No. No, right? it's B there or B square. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that's the, that's going to be at the uh, church. Yeah. Yeah. I think the point is, Alex, you're probably going to have to run the meeting of Stuart and Laura aren't going to be there. And that's all the Turkey people are still away, too. So, Okay. Well, again, that's not a problem. So long as somebody, you know, is going to get the equipment set up, you know, the projector and so on and so forth. That way should be good. Right. Yeah. Now, will you guys need a key? I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this stuff. Well, I don't have a key. I I have key. Okay, then you guys, then I think you guys will be good. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. Um, okay, Ginger, you there? So Ginger, so last year, you you muted Ginger. We, we we can't hear you. You're muted, Ginger. Stuart, you could unmute her, I think. Stuart's muted. <laughs> I can I can do that here. Yeah. We see. He's in the window here. Yeah, so. Unless she doesn't have a mic. Well, we, we spoke to her before. Oh, okay. Can you unmute her, Stuart? Yeah, I'm just trying to get my uh, big window up. I only have a few. Uh, here we go. But I don't even see her. I don't even see her window. Yeah, I don't yeah see she's, her. she's yeah. there. Participant. You want to skip over and come back to Ginger while she figures out? It looks like it's just the technology. Yeah, we can we can skip over. Um, okay. Can I can I just bring up a competition thing that I happened to notice when I jumped over? Um, and, and that is that the assigned subjects are usually done for two years out, and I don't think we ever got to our. We have them for twenty three, twenty four, but normally you set it up for twenty four to twenty five. And we didn't have any, so I just thought I'd put that out there. Uh, you're sorry. Really yeah, that's on, that's on our that's on our list that we have to take care of that. Great, thanks. Sign subjects, future years. Yep. Okay. Ginger. Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm oh. not home. Oh. I have my daughters and. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Hello. <laughs> So last year, if I remember correctly, and I sometimes don't remember correctly, um, I think we, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we agreed that, that the committee agreed to include cultivated flowers into, right. That's what I remember. into the competitions. Mm -hmm. So Ginger and I have been communicating um, and in the bottom of your agenda, I, I included uh, a possible change in the text communicating th that, that change. So it says... You can see it up if you want as well. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It would be on the bottom of that. Yeah, let me just get that here. And I and I didn't go crazy with with the writing of it. So, a second, let me just. Uh... I'm sure it can be done better, but I took the uh, the easy yeah. way out. Can you see that now? Can you see the? Yep. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Uh. So the change was from. Um hybrid plants and I changed the sentence photographs of domesticated 
and hybrid animals, mounting specimens, or obviously set arrangements are ineligible. Oh. Okay, and that was one way that I handled that to change the text in 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 the under our rules. And Can you put a hybrid animals. Well, there are hybrid animals like um, if you cross uh, like a horse with um, a donkey, donkey. That, that would be a hybrid animal or um, a tiger with a lion, that would be a hybrid animal. It'd be scary. They, they <laughs> do ligers and well, they have ligers, I don't know, but they have ligers. Them. Yeah. I, hybrid animals, the generally referred to as domesticated animals. Like a, <laughs> like a labradoodle. Or sheep. Sheep are, sheep are domesticated. Okay, dogs are domesticated. Right. African dogs. Well, like, that's, like, that's why... Don't I, count? Wow, really? That's why I included the word domesticated in there with that. And yep. uh, the second sentence that I changed, botanical. Images of plant life such as wildflowers, ferns, mushrooms, lichens, seed pods, tree buds, leaves, cultivated flowers, and cultivated plants, etc., so I just added that to that sentence. And I think that would handle the agreed change in, to, in the nature competition. Yeah, you could do it that way. Um, or I was just gonna say, I just had written down my own little notes um, to say, Cultivated plants and flowers are now acceptable as of the 23 24 season, but you could do it your way too. It's fine. Any comments or do we? Well, yeah. we we agreed to do this last year, so. One comment, let my clock die out. One comment is who's going to update the, uh, uh, the uh, rules of competition? Yeah, I don't know because I, I know I don't have access to that text. I don't even know where the text is or who has it. I don't know. One I don't more thing, know. excuse me. Um, <clears throat> you mentioned two things. I, ha I had noticed a paragraph after those two sentences that you mentioned. Yeah. And it also, it was, had to do with, um, well, you know, I don't have it in front of me, but it, it also mentioned cultivated <laughs> flowers. So I don't know if we should just omit the word cultivated. It's in the following paragraph. Okay, I'll look at that. Okay. Paragraph number three. It was the paragraph after the one that you just okay. mentioned. All right. In the in the rules, you know. Okay. I'll 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 look at that. Yeah. So it's not, you know, this says this and then it says no. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know who had I don't know where the text is. Denny, do you know do you know where it is? The, or? the original text was written by Bill Olson. Okay. So we might have to get in touch with him. I think that it's around someplace. We'll have to find it. Okay. Because I would hate to have to retype all of that. All of it. You Isn't it under that. MJFCC rules or something? No, no. The, yeah, that, they're different. The NJFCC rules. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. This is what this is uh, an RCC document. Yeah. All right. I'll email uh, Bill and ask him if he knows knows where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I will put that in the newsletter so that the club is aware that, um, like the cultivated flowers are allowed all okay. right okay mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome that that brings us in line with njfcc so that now when you submit flowers to an rcc competition you can ultimately use those flowers in an njfcc competition as well okay all right sounds good we're good with that everyone we're good Okay. Yeah, Alex. Any questions or Greg? I well, I actually wanted to bring up uh, the print competition. If you got a couple minutes, uh, I looked into some magnetic boards and I found something that 
is like this size. I don't know if you could see it. Let me see if I could pull back. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it would, this is an eight, 19 by 13 print. So you could tell the board is, uh, I believe 24 something, uh, 24 by 20. Uh, so, and there are magnets that we can use for the prints. And I, I think if this, if everybody agrees, we could try this. Um, I could get, you know, three of these and we can kind of move, move the competition along that way. Uh, we will still do the sticker on the back so that we could keep track of the score. It's just, it won't be mounted. And those that want to mount can still mount. I mean, that's going to be the easiest way, but for, you know, new people trying to, trying out the print competition, um, this could be a nice way of uh, presenting it. Yep. And it would fit on the board. It would fit in our, our box. So, I don't think the magnets take away from it. They're, you know, small and just in the corners. And I think it, it, it seems to work pretty well. I don't know. I want to get your feedback before I, you know, move ahead. Because I would have to check with NJFCC and see. They said they were going to try to do one print competition this year. From mm -hmm. what I read from their newsletter. So I need to talk to them and see if we can submit unmounted prints like this or just let them know what we're thinking and see, you know, if, you know, if people really want to enter their prints into NJFCC, if it gets to that point, they're going to have to, you know, they may have to mount them. So want to get your thoughts. I think I think that looks great. Yep. Yeah, I think and if, that looks and great. And if people want to go, if people want to go into NJFCC, then they'll then they'll mount them. So yeah, I That's think they'll get more people entering print competitions because the whole thing about mounting it was just a whole nother process that a lot of people didn't want to bother with. Yep. Yeah, I I totally agree. I think it's great. We have a better chance of getting getting some people who've haven't done it before they can try it out which will, which is fantastic I think it's a good idea so the, the question is would you just use the mount as uh or would there be a mount and also the uh, the platform we've used in the past no we could use both those okay. that want to mount can still mount their prints okay. uh but this is just for people who don't want to mount they just use the same sticker put on the back, the, the rules are the same. Uh, and, you know, checking with MJFCC first, let them know what we're doing and see if they're okay with just submitting prints, you know, without being mounted. If they want to mount it, then we'll have to express that to the membership. Um, and then what I'll do is look at the rules that are on the website and just add a little something about how to, how to you know, how prints are, can be displayed well the njfcc is very unlikely to allow unmounted prints because they're all set up with if they've got 30 clubs out there that are all submitting things that are mounted they, they can't handle that because it won't stand yeah. up on its own yeah that's true and you know and that's 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 fine i'm not you know thinking they will change their system for us i'm just wondering if they would accept what we're doing and if not Maybe. that's fine then we just you know tell everybody if they want to enter into njfcc they'll have to mount their prints or maybe I, they would like they would I, change it for everybody not just our club but all the clubs in other words what we're offering here what you're suggesting i think is terrific and i think njfcc would get more participation if uh, the rules would change, if you will. Yes. Yeah. Great, great. How many of those boards would you order? I have, I have, I can, I have three. 
I bought three and I wanted to, you know, I could even get a fourth. They, I got them at uh, Michael's. They have a great, you know, good selection there. So, um, and I think they were like 20 bucks a piece, something like that. So, um, but I think three is fine. If we need four, we could do it for the second competition. I'd like to just see how it goes first and see if it's doable because we'll need a couple extra hands to actually mm -hmm. put them you know now um, can you can you would you put that in the light box because i mean that is the other yeah you know, yeah so that it they, get, they get fully okay yeah it could fit in the light box yeah that makes sense the only thing i'd say with the njfcc is just as, as you move a lot of photos around they could get bent and what have you so they they yeah. have a review but for our quantity i i would think this would work fine yeah yeah and it'll be interesting to see, like, I'm anxious to talk to them to see how their participation is has is going to be, you know, because they're saying they're only going to have one. So I have a feeling other clubs are having the same issues that we had with our print competition. It was, you know, people were just not doing it because it was, you know, with COVID and everything else. I think it's going to be hard to get people back into it this might be an easier way to have people do it now greg are you the person who brings the uh, prints down to njfcc I, I i think so i'll talk to bill guillamo but he didn't he didn't i don't think he ever did it because i'll have to talk to uh um who was the print chair before eric my uh, of NJFCC, I brought them to somebody once. We would take turns. Whoever needed to, yeah. to get them. I know I brought it to somebody out in Western Jersey at one point. Yeah, so. but our print chair, well, uh, yeah, but I wasn't know? the print chair. I just did it. Lynn for Lander. yeah, Lynn, Lynn, Lander. Lynn, Lynn Landers. I'll talk to him and, you know, I could shoot him an email and see what, you know, he used to do. And then I'll talk to the NJFCC guy if, you know, Right now, I couldn't get on the website. Um, so, well, they used to always go with whoever went to the meeting. Whoever went to the NJFCC meeting mm -hmm. brought the prints, and yeah. the the print NJFCC print chairman would would be at the meeting, and he would receive all those prints from the different clubs at the NJFCC meeting. So, but I they. Think with the but vice they president, ceased, but, but their they meetings are now virtual now. meetings, and they went to virtual meetings. Oh, now I, they're I virtual. But I definitely remember bringing them to someone's house. So it's right. it's whatever right. whoever can bring it. It doesn't have yeah. to be a assigned person. Whoever can make that trip where lives where near that other person. So that's very flexible. Yeah. So there's a couple steps, but I think if everybody's in agreement, yep. we could try this. I'll I'll revisit the rules and uh, you know, once again get in contact with them. Yeah. Greg, can you do me a favor? Can you write something up about that so I can put it in the newsletter? Oh, so, sure. Yeah. You know, that's 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 great. Looks good, Greg. Okay. Looks good. Let's hope it's easy to do. <laughs> we won't know if it's a good until we try it the first time and see just how, you know, how it goes. But Greg, we, you know, a few of us won't be there at the social, but it might be nice to bring one of those to. This is something you have to see in touch. It's a great idea. You might want to bring yeah. it to somebody with a print and show people who are not used to it. This is all you've got to do. And they yeah. kind of get, the, get the message, right? Yeah. And you don't. Know, while you're bringing that up, uh, I think we had on the calendar, didn't we have something about a print? Workshop or something? Workshop, yep. right? Yep. I don't see it here, though. Yeah, I saw it on the calendar. I was going to ask about that. It's October 11th. October 11th. Yes, you're right. That's when I was hoping uh, the... The print person, what was her name? Mary, was it Mary? Judge. No, Jackie. 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 Yeah, yeah, she's not going to be able to do anything, right, Alex? Uh, yeah, That's she's not. Uh, she's not going to be able to do any kind of a, a workshop. 
and uh, she's only judging Zoom meetings. Uh, and I wrote to her with two dates, and I haven't received a reply yet. Uh, so I'm I'll write her again tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I can maybe do the print workshop. We can show the how the the board will work, and also I could do you know a mounting, uh, show you know how to mount prints too. Uh, I've done it, Yasik. You've done it. So you know, between the well, that lead that us. leads into us. Uh, that leads into us because we were in contact with Jackie Dickert also to see if she could lead a print competition, and she declined. No, workshop, she, workshop. I'm sorry, a workshop, workshop. workshop. But she can't. And, uh, she declined it, but she gave us the name of Virginia Colstead as someone who is a printing expert and i watched a video online it was a hard video to watch because of a lot of background noise but she's very good and we've been in touch with virginia colstad and she um she is um offering to do a a, a workshop for us oh perfect in either september or october and i wanted to ask about that date that i saw on the calendar because yeah. we could pick that date if you wanted. We could have yeah. her come in that, that date and uh, and do the workshop then. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, you know, we could just, you know, show what we've done. And then she could just do her thing, too. You know, she That's has a whole presentation that, that she presented to um, a club down in Milburn. And um, it's on YouTube like I say, it's very hard to watch because of the background noise, but but there's a lot of good information there. And and um so I think she would do yeah, a good and job. She likes to do it in person. She likes Perfect. to bring her stuff with her and do it in person. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. What was her name again? Virginia Colstad, K-O-L-S-T-A-D. Okay, great. I'll I'll look at that video. Um uh, but that's a, I, I would go ahead. Let's, yeah, if we can book her, let's go for it. Okay, good. And that's it. I think we're done okay. as far as print goes. All right. Thank you. Right. Yeah, uh, as far uh, Laura, as far as uh, you know, pick, uh, the competitions in general, <clears throat> uh, we've sent out, <clears throat> excuse me, we've sent out emails you know, to several people. Uh, we have uh, four uh, specific dates uh, that are all set. And the fifth one is Jackie Dickert, and I'm waiting for a reply from her. Uh, I've given her two dates because she's only doing two Zoom meetings. Uh, okay. And then, uh, you know, once we get her finalized, then we'll follow up with more emails to other potential uh, judges. Okay, so, but we're all set for the pictorial in September. Yeah, September uh, 27 is uh, Matt Clymer who will be judging. Uh, so we're all set there, but then we've got to fill in the rest of the uh, uh, fall season. How do you spell Matt's last name? Uh, C-L-Y-M-E-R. Now, are you using the same judges that we've used in years past or are people not doing it anymore or? Well, right now we're uh, contacting the judges we've used in the past. Okay. Uh, if there are any new judges that any of you are aware of, you know, uh, that most especially will be uh, able to do it live, you know, in other words, at the church. You know, then let us know and we'll follow up with them. But it's less and less people are wanting to go out. They don't mind doing the virtuals, but uh, um, they they don't seem to want to do the in uh, in person meetings. Okay. Um, all right. I'll try to put my thinking cap on with with that one. Okay. All right. Okay, Mary. Oh, excuse me. One last thing. Okay. Uh, uh, John, uh, with regard to 
the estimates uh, for expenses uh, for all of the competitions, you could figure sixty-five dollars uh, per competition. You know, for the judge as payment for the judges. Okay, I'll use that number then. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Merrick. Anything with equipment? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you need a co-chairman or to help you with it? You're okay? I'm fine. The chair can put, put uh, anyone can put the chair in the room. <laughs> okay. All right. Just just holler if you if you need anything. Uh, I'm good. All right. Okay, Christine and Dave. Okay, so we mentioned about yeah. uh, Virginia Colstead. We'll be right. off for that. That'll probably be the first workshop. And then we've spoken with Jane Kicks, who we mentioned it to her last oh. year, and she's willing to um, to do a workshop, but she said she would prefer to be able to do it in her home studio. It's still life. For still, but she can only take five people at a time. And we didn't know. We wanted to discuss that with you because we didn't know how that could evolve. It almost seems like a boutique. <laughs> a boutique. <laughs> boutique. Would she boutique. be willing to run it a couple of times? And then people just have to sign up, just like you do on a field trip to see, you know, you make the list or you don't. Would she maybe like once a month for three months or is that too much? I don't know how long these are going to be. Well, the one thing I, I was going to ask her is, how, you know, what span of time she thought it would take. And then maybe in one day, she could do a few, uh, although that is asking a lot. I don't know. I, I guess that's the conversation we have to ask. But that, if, that's an idea too, is maybe see if, she, if we sign people up five right. at a time. How much interest there is. Oh, although I think months. there might be a lot because everybody really appreciates what she yeah. does. Right. The other thing, maybe if she has a problem like moving equipment maybe yeah. a couple of us could go and help her you know pack things up you know and just move it to the church you know that way that way it's not all falling on her yeah. also right okay we'll have that conversation with her see okay. what she have you ever seen her home studio <laughs> no. it is amazing oh really <laughs> I want to live in her own studio. <laughs> so maybe that's a reason to try to do it. Yeah, that yeah. educate people. Uh, What's possible? <laughs> it's the her home studio is bigger than my first apartment. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just exhausting having people in your house all day, and you have to give you know, the same talk over and over and over. Again. Yeah, that's true. But this is what she's suggesting. So. You know, she, you know, as opposed to doing it at the church. So, well, that's why, again, if you did it like once a month for three months, you know, it just went maybe it's a two or three hour thing, it might not be as taxing, but yeah, yeah you need to talk to her. That's, a, that's an idea. Let, let's, mm -hmm. let's ask her about that. Okay. Other than that, we don't have anything else lined up at this point. We were, you know, some ideas were night photography, architecture, street photography. Um, but we don't have anybody lined up for any of these. If any of you have suggestions for workshops or and particularly leaders to lead them, that that's the real really the uh, the trick is finding somebody to uh, to present them. You know, let us know. Okay. I think I think um, I'm sorry. I think the portrait with Darlene in church, um, hands on was really good i mean having people i think people would love to have something hands on yeah yeah the other well, suggestion now i'm sorry uh no i uh we had i think uh padma ingua padma ingua i believe yeah and um we can try to ask her she's very good with the light boxes and also you know, in she would come to the church. We can ask. She's really good with it. Mm -hmm. Like macro, yeah. She did the Ferdorama one for us. She did, did mm -hmm. yeah. right. 
Right. The, the, the like difference that. between that and, and Jane Kicks is if you, uh, I, I've been in her house, um, the, the studio is unbelievable. There's equipment there that, uh, you know, is very sophisticated. Oh. And uh, I think it would benefit us, whoever decides that they would like to go, um, to see all that equipment and to understand how it works and so on and so forth. So I think that's the real plus of this. I don't I know. I'd love to see it. So yeah. 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 Okay. So um, you know, when we meet again, if you hear from her or then we'll um we'll continue hmm. uh, the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Good. That was uh, probably gonna be in January. We talked yeah, about Yeah, we were thinking that over the winter months. Over the winter, for, yeah. For that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So we field trips we did uh programs um we i have to talk to greg because he was the co-chair last year um and now we don't have a chairman for for programs mm -hmm. i have i have some ideas but I, I would rather have you know someone in in charge but i can certainly work with them I spoke uh, with uh, Sarah Lean. She was the um, the editor of National Geographic. So she said that she would talk to us if we can coordinate dates and whatnot. And she has a program to present. So that would cover one program. And I met other photographers last week that can do other programs. But What is Sarah Lean's, how do you spell her last name? L-E-E-N. And Sarah is S A R A H, but that's that's if we can coordinate our uh, schedules and whatnot. We'll see. Um, I'll see what I can do with that. All right, uh, Yasik. Oh, well, did everybody get the slideshow I sent out? Yes. yes. But yeah. I also went to the exhibit. It was great. Really good. Very nice. uh, so we just concluded uh, our uh, first show since the pandemic. And uh, I think it was a success. Um, I, I think the idea of doing it in a uh, one of these arboretums is, uh, is a good idea because there's a lot of exposure. Um, I've since become aware of the fact that uh, there are there are, in New Jersey, I think there's 20, 20 different um, gardens of this type. And I think about half of them say they have some kind of an art gallery. So I've actually started going around and looking at them. Uh, the thing is, you know, we don't want to go too far away from from our North Jersey area here. But um, my point is, okay, I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, the, the people at the uh, Laurelwood Arboretum, the Friends of Laurelwood, I, I think that they, uh, they got a lot of good feedback and uh, they appreciated the quality of our work. Uh, in November, they will be making a decision as to uh, the following spring and summer uh, the following year because they book they book local groups and local artists they told me that their policy is to be uh diverse and to have a variety of artists but i think if the if they're if they're happy with the quality of our work they they were definitely very happy with the efficiency with which you know we did this because we had Volunteers came in, did everything, took everything down. Their, their people didn't have to do anything at all, except uh, make the labels. So um, anyway, so if they have us back, I was thinking of doing something in April or May, um, like flowers and trees, for example. Um, you know, you want you want to stick to a sub. You want to stick to a subject where we as photographers have a lot of um, 
experience with and and, and do do a lot of this kind of subject. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want to do like street photography because or or photojournalism because the 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 uh, the appeal it, it's not broad enough appeal but something along the lines of nature and horticulture and flowers and trees would would, would work so that's the plan um aside from that uh so uh, yeah so what, what i was saying about the other galleries is that if if we can't get into laurelwood i will try and get us into one of the other galleries uh on this list. And then we have uh, Art in the Park which in October, which is relatively straightforward. Uh, we usually could have put in a good uh, appearance there. And uh, that's it. That's the plan that's for that's exhibitions. That's coming up, Art in the Park. Did you put in the, um, the application yet for that? Well, they hasn't. he hasn't even started that yet. Okay. Yeah, that that comes out somewhere in uh, August. I don't know August probably. Okay. It, it sends out a notice to everyone to start sending him. The applications go to uh, go to him, and uh, the only thing we have to do is specify that the application is Ridwood Camera Club, and then he makes sure that all those people end up in the same place. Okay. All right. Have Sounds good. Idea? Do you have any idea of the dates yet? I'm thinking well, it's probably October the 16th. 16th, yeah, 15th or 16th, whatever that. It's going to be, yeah, it's after um, Columbus Day weekend. It's the following weekend, typically. So. Yeah. All right, thank you. Dick, you have anything to report? Uh, well, the only thing uh, is this Ramapo situation, the Ramapo College. Uh, we agreed that we would get back to them in the middle of August. But I, I'm, I'm having some serious reservations because at this point, they're only willing uh, to provide students where they can get credit, which means that they would have to participate in our functions at the, at the club, at the church, where they would set up uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the cameras and the projectors, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't think we would have enough, given them enough work for them to justify two and three, you know, college credits. Um, we've talked about, uh, as you know, um, we've talked about other things to, to do, uh, have them participate in our meetings, et cetera, et cetera. And they've been extremely reluctant to uh, come on board with that. So again, the question I have, is, uh, should I pursue this? Do uh, you want me to reach out again and see what their thinking is and uh, go from there? Uh, it, my, my gut reaction is that um, if it didn't happen after the first couple of meetings, it's probably not going to happen. That's and I don't know how we're going to supervise these students to get them college credit. I agree. I agree with Dick. I don't think we have enough that is going to be really worthy of college credit. Yeah. Right. yeah. Probably not, but what you could do is just be informational to them. If we're going to have an exhibit somewhere, if we're having a workshop, if whatever, it's just letting them know what we're doing. And if somebody's interested, they can participate. We could do yeah. that. Um, yeah. We could invite them to our meetings and uh, just see what, you know, what develops. I have no problem with that, but what uh -huh. I what then what may be what I would do then is this coming week I will reach out to them and just get a, a general conversation going and see what their thinking is. But I, I like what you just said, Ruth, and um, maybe uh, we could work along those lines. But as far as student credits, I I don't think that's practical at all. Uh -huh. The whole host of assessment and keeping track of what they're doing and attendance yeah. and yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a whole do. job in itself. Yeah. Yes, we ha we have plenty of other jobs for for people to <laughs> we need them to do that. Yeah, I, I would say no. We're yeah. we're the uh, thought though. Thank you, um, Valentina. I saw your email about uh, the dues. Hey. Hello. 
Hello. My first meeting, huh? <laughs> um, so yes, the emails went out yesterday. And uh, um, if you have any questions or you want me to word something differently, I will take any critiques or anything or, or to add. And yes, we are working with Winnie to um, to adjust something in, in, in a text as well. I think it looks great, Val. Yeah, it looks very good. Thank you. Uh, right away, people reacted, and then, you know, most PayPal, some they notified me that the check is coming. So we'll be in touch with uh, John. Yep. Um, good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Sounds good. Is it working okay with the notifications I'm giving you from PayPal? Yes, and this way okay. I have the yeah. list and I'm marking also on a list and we'll we'll verify so we're on the same page, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Ruth. Okay, so we have the social coming up. Um in the past, what the kickoff social was is to really educate everybody as to what's happening over the course of the year. So it's not only just kind of welcome back, you know, hope you had a great summer and socialize, but what are the programs you're gonna be doing? What are the field trips we're doing, the workshops? And, you know, just setting up different stations where people can get educated as to what's going on. So um, that is, I guess, my concern is that we have enough things to talk about. Um, the other thing is I also know from past experience is we can over-engineer these things. And people just like sometimes just to get together and chat. So I think it's like a combo thing. Um, the other thing we've done in the past is a slideshow where we have people submit. Uh, typically for this, it's kind of what I did on my summer vacation. And mm -hmm. you know they submit, I, I think, three to five uh, photos. Yasik has so graciously in the past put together the slideshow. He's going to be traveling. Lucky Yasik. So um we are going to need to find somebody who can pick that up. I mean, if need be, you know, I will do my best as well. But uh, I always love to find new volunteers. So maybe we can find somebody else who not necessarily is on the EC. But um, to put that together, I do think it's a good idea. People like seeing it's something that just runs. It gives it's a conversation point. So um, I would like to continue that. If anybody has a different suggestion, I'm certainly open to that. And then food, food's a great motivator. So uh, I, I think typically we kind of all pitch in and bring different things to have. So I think uh, that probably works out as well too, just like different desserts or or whatever, because people like to eat. Sort of like a potluck from the executive committee? Yeah, we've done that typically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then just maybe have you know either coffee or water bottles or something like that, but Okay. I was trying to remember what was the thing we did the pizzas for. Was that the Chris Christmas? That was Christmas. Christmas. Was it? Yeah. I wouldn't do that now, but that worked out well for Christmas. All right. I'll I'll talk to you about about, okay. um, about the social. Okay. Um the newsletter. I'll continue doing the newsletter. I just, just want to mention I'll I'll be happy to help Ruth and you with the social. Okay. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Sounds good. Um, now, with the newsletter, if you guys can give me blurbs about what's going on or if you need anything, just what's send the schedule going to be, Laura? What, I mean, when do you um, anticipate to start sending that out? And so we know when to start sending um, it. Yeah, I normally, I know that uh, Lynn Ronan used to send them out on Mondays. I, you saw that I usually did it on Sundays, but I thought of doing it like two weeks before. Uh, the social okay that's coming up it's august already yeah. that's yeah. amazing yeah so i was going to start working on that mm -hmm. and it just takes me a while um you know to keep track of all the emails and all the paragraphs that i get so the sooner i get them i i put them in and then it's all set to go so for the week so the sooner i get information the better off uh, i am so that would be great. Does anybody know? I did. I was sort of half listening uh, at Brunch Bunch, but 
Does anyone know what's going on in the day in the life? So I know Rob has the images. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with what he's doing with them. It's going to be a long process. All the images were due uh -huh. July 28th, and that's exactly when I got into them. Um, and I think he has almost everybody's. And it's just going to be a, a rather lengthy process to, to call through them. Um, to then also, we're going to have to provide captions and greater information. So I realistically, I don't see us having the so-called book together to probably the spring. It's going to be a while. Oh, at least, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a while. And, and then some kind of presentation or slideshow, I think as well would be yeah, Greg, you yeah. probably know better because you're going to be working on some of the design elements. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I he hasn't contacted me yet, so I'm just waiting to hear from him. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and then, you know, that brings up we should present this to the UK group, too. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> you know, probably in the spring. <laughs> they made us look bad, which yeah. is another thing that I need to reach out to them. They're on hiatus right now. Yeah. Um, but I would assume, I know that's that's kind of unrelated to to um, the social aspect, but I do act as the liaison to Laura for the bath group. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they're on hiatus till September. So um, what we've been doing is we always get invited to their meetings. And when we record our meetings, we sh share the links, you know, send them over to them. And okay. then try to, we only did one joint meeting last year. Um, it'd be nice if we could maybe do two this year. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think right. that's a great relationship. Yeah, it is terrific. I, I'm I'm looking to doing a field trip next in 2024. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? We'll go see. Them. That's what we should do. Yeah. That would be fun. Um. Okay. The the um the other thing that came up. Um. Bun Bun reached out to me. He wanted us to know that Roman K's mother passed away. So he's uh, Bun wanted to know if we would send flowers to Roman, and um, I thought that was a bit excessive, and that would be like opening up a huge can of worms. So Roman's just, last name. Okay, uh, well, <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, it's really long, Nancy. Oh, well, I know it's K K U R Y. W C Z A K. Kurifchak. Kurifchak. Ah, there you go, Yasek. Look at you. It's very simple. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's that's yeah. like the most impossible language known to man. But um, I think a card would certainly be. Appropriate. I know. I I, I have the card, and I'm just going to send the card. In, in no, yeah. I think that, that that would be a slippery slope. So absolutely. That I think that's it for me. Anything else from anybody? Oh. On, the, on the agenda, I wrote down a, a whole bunch of thank yous for everything that you've done over the summer. And I just wanted to say thank you for all that you guys do. Thank what you. The AI discussion. Oh, 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 that was like yeah, the most the important AI. thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but maybe you want to talk about that. <laughs> Well, I thought I was going to get to bed today. Maybe people should read it first. Then we can oh, talk about it. We were supposed to, right? We, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, still, still yeah, yeah, let me, let me. What, uh, what time is it? <laughs> this should, I mean, let's see. This should, I'm sorry this shouldn't be that, too hard because we sent it out twice. Let me just share the screen real quick. And then uh, I can kind of walk you through briefly of what it's about. Here we go. Again, most of you. Should have read it, but people don't always do that. I know that. So let me uh, let me just give you the the quick version. To, yeah, I'm gonna get my charge. Can you see the screen? Can you see my? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in essence, what what happened over the summer is Vinny, myself, and John, and then George for a little while met a couple of times. Once with coffee, then it got tougher, so we got some drinks to try to work out what to do. Um, <laughs> And the first few things, just some definitions of what it is. I think most of you probably know what the definition of a photo photograph is and the AI. Now, this was actually a quick recap, which was good in the last 12 months. There really has been a lot of new things come out. 
in essence, two, two big things. One is you can generate images just by typing in text, thing called uh, Midjourney and this thing here, D Dali 2 and Midjourney came out. And that's a specialized thing that you can create images by themselves. Fairly obvious that that's not photography in terms of what we want for competitions. Um, but then what happened in March of this year, Photoshop came out with a beta version and that allows you to do lots of things. But the one thing that it allows you to do that causes us some concern is it allows you to create, add to an existing image image objects. You can just type in a lake or, or a house and it will generate a in your current image, a add that to the image. And it's fairly realistic. It's fairly realistic. So the conversation we had is, even though we use uh, Photoshop to do many things, but adding objects to an image seems to be crossing a line. We went backwards and forwards and all that. But the net, the net of it was, we came up with a, an agreement in the last couple of weeks or so that simply says, for the sake of the competitions, this piece here, right? Um, you cannot use um, computer generated images for our classic competitions. What does that really mean? That means images generated by using algorithms. What does that mean? When you go to Photoshop, you can type in house, lake, whatever, and it'll generate something for you. You can't do that. You can still use the rest of the uh, image cleanup, content aware deletions in Photoshop, even though they use some smarts on it. But the real essence of it is we thought after much conversations that for, for um, competitions, if you allow that to happen, if you allow images to be just simply created like that, um, it could well cause lots of consternation and uh, grief. So our proposal was to modify slightly the rules that, that say that you cannot use computer generated algorithms that automatically create images based on user text. So that's the essence of the conversation. Um, Vinny, John, you want any questions? And Vinny, John, you want to add some uh, other commentary or clarification? No, I think that rather well covers it. Yeah. I have a, I have a question, though. Sure. Uh, why wouldn't you include print in the competition categories? That's good. Could, yeah. It seems no, to me no. that has to be part of it. We did it so that someone would read it and make sure we had to add print to the, the text. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still awake. That's what that's. Yeah. I am still. Awake. Great idea. Absolutely, print print should be part of it. <laughs> really, any it's really any competitions, but we should, as we specify the other three, we should definitely include print, mm -hmm. because what we're saying is we could have some other competitions or AI competitions. That's okay, but the right. classic ones where people are trying to use their skills, we should not allow that. Yeah. John, anything you want to add to it? You were, were in this conversation backwards and forwards. I think uh, I think it specifically states what we intended is that no generative um, image that's created by using algorithms or software would be allowed in any of the competitions, any of the current competitions, including prints. Uh, and I think that's pretty straightforward, and I think it's a reasonable uh, rule at this point. I think the important thing, too, is that there was an intent that this will be reviewed on a regular basis as time goes on, because um, the AI universe is changing so rapidly. And we'll get feedback from the club and from members as to how they see this and what they would like to do going forward. And maybe we have AI competitions. Who knows? Mm -hmm. I like that you kept it very simple. You didn't get too in; it's too far into the weeds. They... Yeah, well, helped us with that. We were we were trying to get. I, I know I was trying to get a little bit more definitive about what tools you can use, and then we just narrowed it down to simply, simply, you cannot. And John helped with the human artist input as well. Uh, you can't you can't generate stuff based on just typing text in and getting an image. As long as you don't do that, you can carry on doing what you've done up to now, which I think keeps it. Well, you can use it to fix an image, but not generate the. That's you know. that's exactly correct, Chris. You can use right. the power. The intent, tool, right? The intent was to ensure that those tools that you're currently using, that haven't been um, 
altered to the extent that full generative AI algorithms have, right. who can, can, can still be utilized. It was just an impossible task to give anybody a list of, oh, well, you can use this or you can't use that. Right. So uh, I think I think it's pretty straightforward. I think it's yeah. a clean rule, and we'll find out. We'll get feedback from each of you. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's great. I think, I think we, we, all, we all strongly consider the fact that this is going to change so dramatically, even over the over the next year. Okay, that the right really definitive rules was a uh, a not very profitable reuse of our time. Right. No, I think it's great. And I think the idea of doing any kind of workshop, I almost see like a point counterpoint where you have, <laughs> we could really get into an interesting debate because there's a lot to debate on this and, and what people feel in terms of uh, the ethics of it, the uh, the creativity of it and all of that. And I think it, it really is uh, just one of those things that would be great to have somebody come and present on it and also just have some really good discussions on it. Yep. So well, you have to think of what the name of our club is, Photography Club. Right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, this is camera, camera, camera club. club. Camera. If you don't right. use your camera, it's not, it doesn't belong. Right. 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 Yeah, you'll notice there's no elimination of things such as composites or things like that that utilize two images or two segments that you've actually taken with your camera. So that you know that continues. Yep. Yep. No, I think you guys did a really nice job. I, I mean, yeah. It's not easy, oh. but you were able to make it very clear. And yeah, this was well written. Yeah. yeah very yeah. well done. So yeah, I, I got the I got the uh, the PDF. I'm thinking, oh gosh, I better do this early in the morning with two cups of coffee. But <laughs> it was very well written, very very clear, very well organized, and it actually was a pleasure to read it. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, great. We had some we had some very spirited discussions. We did. We had some spirited <laughs> drinking too, but <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, all the way from four weeks ago, you know, we can't work it out, so we're not gonna change anything. And right. then we realized that's we should do something. You'd be, su be surprised how many times we reversed some things. Right. <laughs> well, absolutely. So, yeah. our, great. so two yeah. things. Yeah. Do we no, have we agreement can. that that, that addendum is okay. We're happy to use that as part of our uh, rules. Everybody's okay with that? Yeah. 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 Okay, good. We need to take a vote on this. Do we? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I propose that we add this text with the addition of the word print. All in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay. This is something that could be also presented. Yeah, I think we need to modify the competition rules. That's got to get in there. That, that, those pieces have to get into the competition rules. Yeah. So right. So we'd have to contact that. Bill Olson. No, I, I, you don't have to. I don't think you have to. I, I think if you just look at it, unless you're saying you need the PDF that you might have, but it's all posted already on the website, the competition rules. It's a matter of finding out where those changes need to be made. Is that a PDF, Vinny, do you know, or is that text? Just that's like, a that's a PDF on there, okay. And believe me, somebody has the the, uh, the original Word document. Yes, they've got to. Yeah, yeah. Do I tried to make changes to it, and I couldn't do it. Oh, okay. PDF. Okay. It's PDF. So you can't make changes to the PDF. Sure. Okay. Well, you could probably cut and paste it, put it into a Word document, make the that's change. Exactly, it yeah, that's exactly. That's you know, exactly I don't think what I did. Uh, yeah. for the print print rules yeah I copied and you know i had to reformat some of the things the tabs were all messed mm -hmm. up and there were there were paragraph breaks but uh, i just copied it into a word document and then uh made the changes uh which i'll send out now at some point for everybody to look at but i so, think that Getting back to the ai thing i think that would be another thing another thing and maybe even just like a table or something to set up um, for the social, you know, people, mm. cause it, or just maybe even a discussion, people can talk about it there. You know, well, so. Ruth, the one thing we did talk about as a group that says, look, what it, it, what would be the interest in the, in the club for having 
a workshop that talks about what is AI, how do you use it, oh, yeah. what are the conversations back and forth. Yeah. We're clear we're not saying use it for competitions, right. and I think we don't want to be head in the sand. We don't even know anything about it. So yep. exactly. we turn some well, people yeah. off. So yeah. if, that was, yeah. that, was competitions. Whole, that was the whole reason for the committee, okay? Yeah. To yeah. get ahead of the curve, okay? And not just be run over by AI. Yep. You can do a George, panel discussion. George could send his dog on another oh, trip. <laughs> going back to PDFs, there has to be, going back to PDFs, there has to be some technology, even if we're stuck only with a PDF, to convert a PDF to a text or a Word document. Wait, we can do that. I just, I, 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 I just to, saved all. Of, I just saved all the, uh, all of that, uh, the rules as a PDF off the website as a separate document. So you can convert that there you to go. a Word document immediately. So right. it's available right. if, Bill, if Bill doesn't have it readily. That makes it makes some sense. Yeah. Yeah, thinking again for the social, maybe, I mean, George is good at this. Maybe we have like a little quiz thing where we have photos that are real and that, some that are AI generated mm -hmm. and people guess what's real and what's not. Right. And then the people that win the best, um, you know, in terms of scoring, could end up um, getting a door prize or whatever right. bottle of wine. That you might be fun. Want to be, you may want to be a little bit careful about that, okay? Because if you start showing people, okay, that you really can't tell the difference. Yeah, that is scary. The generated image, okay, <laughs> photographic image. Yeah. Okay, to start using all that, and really, what we decided that we really have to rely upon the ethics of the individual. Mm -hmm member okay and yeah. you, you can't do any policing of that that's i think that's yeah. almost impossible <laughs> has anybody used it yet has anybody used it in their photos just to try it out oh lots yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it must be fun you use it everywhere it's... from i just took well you've seen some of the stuff that george garbeck has done but i mm -hmm. just took it and took uh, a very small section of an image of a friend sitting on a park bench and then literally just put there and type Paris. It filled in the whole background with Paris. Oh and it just went to Baghdad, <laughs> filled it in with Baghdad just oh. by using a text yep. prompt. So, so we don't have to go to very, Turkey. That's, use, that's utilizing <laughs> the Photoshop one. Speak for yourself. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All we need is self-portrait and Type in Turkey and okay. we're there. Yeah. Yeah. My selfie, <laughs> right? <laughs> what, John, which what, software did you use for that? I was using what I did. Photoshop came out with um I think it's Firefly is the name of their their uh uh AI function. And they had a beta, so you download the beta and you could do anything. I had a image of Brooklyn Bridge, and I decided, well, we should have a couple, about 15 bikes in there. So type bikes, and all of a sudden, the bikes appear. Yeah. So it's very easy, you know, and that's totally from a text. Yeah. 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 So the final thing, I think it, it, it does make sense. Really? I think it's, it's probably Dave or somebody as a, a workshop or something on AI. I think a bunch of us can help facilitate that. But I think it yeah. might be good to let everybody yeah. understand what works. We can sh do some show and tell and then have the conversation around uh, ethics around it. I think that would be helpful, helpful to do that. And yeah. I think some people would be interested to in knowing they may want to know, they may not want to use it at all, but they would, might want to know how does it work and what's going on in that world. Yeah, absolutely. I think a few of us absolutely. know that real well. They may want to use it, but, but not in the wanna, competition. You probably don't want to overuse the generative stuff. Because once you do that, you lose all the beauty of photography. Right. It really gets you out into the environment. Yep. And it's a lot more than just pr producing an image that's an eight or a nine. Okay, it's the whole experience and the whole learning process of being out in the photographic world. Mm. Sure. That's it for me. Yep. Okay, anything else? We good? No. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So just send your uh, blurbs for the um, for the newsletter, and uh, we'll have a good year. So we're all good. All right. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Good night, everybody.